charcoal. It's grainy, it's chalky, it's bitter. It's not something you'd want in your toothpaste, or your food, or your bed sheets, right? But charcoal, or rather, activated charcoal, has been rising in popularity as a trendy addition to everything from ice cream to bedding. Its origins as a detoxifier have sparked claims that it can whiten teeth, cure hangovers, and even keep bad odors at bay. Some claims are valid, and others? Well, the science is still out. Here's everything you need to know about activated charcoal. Let's start from the beginning. Charcoal is a black residue that forms when you burn something that has a lot of carbon in it. Think coal or coconut shells. Activated charcoal is just charcoal that's been treated with a special gas during the production process, when it's burned at a very high temperature. The chemical reactions from the fire rearrange the carbon atoms to form a ton of tiny pores. As a result, this new activated charcoal has a huge surface area. One gram of activated charcoal typically has a surface area of about 1,000 square meters. Some types can have a surface area as large as 3,500 square meters. That's well over half the size of a football field. Wow. This expansive surface area allows the charcoal to trap certain molecules with the process called adsorption. Yep, you heard that right. That's adsorption, not absorption. With absorption, chemicals get trapped inside something. Say, water getting trapped in a rag. But with adsorption, molecules bind to the surface of another solid or liquid. In the case of activated charcoal, its massive surface area acts as one giant... Uh, what's the best way to... Activated charcoal is a little bit like a giant ball of tape or like a sponge covered in glue. Right. So, if a chemical is adsorbed, it's not going anywhere. This makes activated charcoal great at collecting molecules that contain carbon, like most poisons. Until recently, it was mainly used as a detox product in emergency rooms for patients who had accidentally ingested poison. If you've been poisoned, then you've got a whole bunch of poison sitting around in your digestive system. If you just chuck a whole bunch of activated charcoal in, it soaks up all the poisons. Around 2014, though, activated charcoal began to gain popularity outside the ER as a cleansing ingredient for foods. Things like charcoal lemonades, cleansing chais, and blackened pizza crusts. And remember those photos of black ice cream that monopolized your Instagram feed? Those were usually activated charcoal, too. But there haven't been many scientific studies on the long-term health effects of charcoal-infused foods. Relatively speaking, the idea of ingesting charcoal recreationally, as opposed to using it as a save-your-life kind of detoxifier, is still a pretty new thing. Activated charcoal sticks to everything without discrimination. Or rather, it sticks to things without discriminating between whether they're good or bad. And so, if you're constantly taking activated charcoal, as in adding it to your food, then it's going to stick to a lot of nutrients. At best, I believe it makes you constipated. At worst, it might give you a mild nutrient deficiency. In June of 2018, the New York City Department of Health began to more strictly enforce a ban on activated charcoal in food and drinks in all of the city's restaurants, citing an FDA rule prohibiting its use as a food additive or coloring agent. Someplace else you may have seen activated charcoal recently? Toothpaste. The toothpaste trend really began to kick off at the end of 2016. Some toothpaste brands claimed that activated charcoal could whiten teeth and detox your mouth. But a 2015 study conducted by Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine tested charcoal against a generic brand of whitening toothpaste, and it concluded that there was potential for the charcoal residue to embed into tissue, leaving a gray coloration. The abrasive nature of the charcoal was also found to potentially lead to gum recession over time. According to Matthew Messina, a practicing dentist at The Ohio State University College of Dentistry and a spokesperson for the American Dental Association, activated charcoal can also thin down a tooth's enamel, which can result in teeth looking yellow, instead of that promised pearly white. Experts say that a loss of enamel can lead to issues like tooth decay and increased sensitivity. In addition to foods and toothpastes, you may have noticed a growing number of facial products containing activated charcoal that claim they can decongest skin and refine pores. But, like food and toothpaste, there isn't a whole lot of research that backs this up. They could potentially draw out oil from pores a bit better than a regular cleanser. I think they work pretty similarly to like a clay mask, but I don't think they'll give any real detoxing benefits like drawing toxins out of your skin, apart from the oil in the pores, which a clay mask would do as well. So while eating, brushing, and cleansing with activated charcoal might still come with its share of TBDs, research suggests that activated charcoal can be used to kill dust mites and eliminate odors, thanks to, you guessed it, adsorption. 
A 2012 study introduced live house dust mites to culture dishes that contained activated charcoal fibers, and concluded that all house dust mites attached to the charcoal fibers and began to shrink instantaneously. Dr. Brent Stockwell, chemistry and biology professor at Columbia University, says that theoretically, charcoal-infused fibers could adsorb odors in the same way. Odors are basically odorant molecules in the gas phase that your nose detects. In theory, if you coated an entire room, the walls, the floor, and the ceiling with charcoal, it would probably reduce any odors in the room because everywhere the gas in the room is hitting, those molecules are going to be absorbed onto the surface. Same idea if charcoal is impregnated into fabrics like towels or bed sheets. At the end of the day, if you want to eat trendy charcoal foods, it's not that big of a deal. Just don't make them part of your daily diet. As for charcoal toothpaste and face masks, there's still a bit of research to be done about just how effective they are. Charcoal-infused fabrics are a great investment if you're looking to reduce dust mites and odors. Shop smartly out there.